Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot tutorial and today I'm going to talk to you on how to set up GitHub with Godot. First you need to have a GitHub account. So if you don't have one, just go to GitHub website and create a new account just using your email. I've already have this account. It's called GitHub. And the next thing you need is you need to install Git in your computer. You can download it from this page. I'm going to leave a link in the description for it. As you can see, it will automatically detect your system. Just you need to click on download here and simply install. That's a very simple step to do. Now, after the installation completed, you need to go to GitHub Bash from your search bar here. It will open uh, this command line window. And in here, you need to set up Git credentials using the same username and email of your GitHub account. So now I'm going to say git config global user.name and in quotations, you need to type your username of your GitHub account. So for me, it's Kodo GitHub. So I'm going to type Kodo dash github in quotations and hit enter now the next thing we need to write our email so git config global user dot email and without quotations you need to type your email so for example email at gmail.com or whatever your email is but without quotations and press enter. And now after finishing with those two steps, moving on to Godot. I have this project opened here with a node 2D uh, and I've already attached a script for it. It's uh, basically uh, an empty project, just we are going to use it as an example. So what if I want to push this project into my GitHub? First, you need to open your project directly by going to this resource folder and left click on it and go to open in file manager now this is my uh, good project and in here you need to type the rise mod button and go to open git bash here now the first thing we need to do is to type git init and this will create a GitHub repository inside your local uh, repository. You can see now we have this Git repository. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to our GitHub account and create a new repository. So go to repositories, click on new and type the name of your repository. I'm going to say git dash test now in here you can write description for your repository let's say testing git for kodo and now you can choose between public and private i'm going to leave it as public and just hit create repository now we have this empty repository and what you need to do to connect your GitHub repository with your local repository, uh, you need to copy this command line and just paste it here, hit enter. Now when I write git status, you can see those files in red and that mean those files are not staged yet and to stage it those files I need to type git at period and period means all now when I write git states again you can see those files are in the green color now and that means those files are staged and ready to be committed now to commit those files we need to type git commit dash m and uh, in quotation we can write uh, command so let's say first commit and hit enter 
Now when I type git set again, I have nothing here. Now I want to push those files into my GitHub repository. So to do that, we need to type git push origin main and hit enter. Now it's going to ask you to sign in. Just click on sign in with your browser. Now it says authentication succeeded. Uh, just uh, close this window. And when we go back to the command line window, everything is fine. Now when I refresh this GitHub repository, you can see that we have our Godot project uh, here and you can see that we have this command when we first commit those files and everything is fine. So now if I go back to Godot project and made some changes in here, like adding a new command, let's say this is a test command, save it. And now in the command line window, when I hit get status, you can see this file are uh, in red and it said modified. If I want to commit this file, I need to type git add o and git commit dash m and let's say adding a command enter and now git push origin main now in github repository when I refresh my page again I can see that we have changed this file and it says now adding command and everything works fine. Now there is another way to use git with Godot and that's using uh, the GitHub plugin. But I'm using the 4.1 version of Godot and there is no plugin for this version yet, I think. And in the Godot documentation, it says, as of July 2023, the Git plugin hasn't been updated to work with Godot 4.1 and later yet. So if you're using version 4 or version 3.5 or 3.6 or whatever, you can use a plugin for your GitHub. And you can download those plugins from this page. I'm going to leave a link in the description for it. So if you are using God of Fall, you need to download the plugin version 3. And you can find other versions here for uh, Godot 3.5 and Godot 3.2 and 3.4. So let's say I'm using Godot 3.5. I need to download this plugin. I'll down here just download the zip file. Now just extract it. And open it. Now we just need this add-ons folder. And in here I've just created a new project in Godot 3.5 just to show you how to use the plugin. So just open your main directory of your project and now go ahead to your add-ons folder, copy it and paste it inside your project. Now in Godot, go to project version control, set up version control just uh, hit initialize and now as you can see you can see that we have this window here in the top right and we have all the files of our project now this 
uh, icon here it says detect new changes and this one says stage all changes so it's like get add period now when we click on it it will stage all the files and make them ready to be committed now here we can commit our files and we can type a uh, command so let's say first command and click on commit changes and like that we have uh, did everything without using the this command line window i actually love the, to use this command line window for me it's way better to use git and this is up to you you can choose this command line window or you can choose to use the github plugin so i think this is it for today i really hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and see you all later.